Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So this week's video, I actually filmed like over a month ago and then it became like a thing and it became a very controversial thing. And I, my spirit animal is a tortoise. At any sign of conflict, I just retreat and I don't like it at all. So I decided to do a fun trim trim video that week instead. Anyway, this week we are joined by Percy. If you watch my vlog, you know that she always has problems with her nose shedding before anyone asks. She has shed yet again since that vlog. I swear she sheds like every other week. So it's stuck again. So that's what we will be working on tonight is getting that shed off. Anyway, this week I tried to make the cheapest possible leopard gecko and crested gecko tanks that I possibly could. And I think I got it pretty cheap. But of course, as I was going through that footage that I had shot, I realized that I never showed a couple of things that I wanted to show. For example, having the animal herself in that setup, I never showed that. And that was kind of the point of the whole video. I do want to stress that these setups are intended for short-term use and they are not intended for adult animals. These setups are for those of you who either really like to save money or who went to a reptile show or anywhere really and impulse bought an animal and just needed something quick and easy to set up. All these materials are meant to be cheap and easy to acquire with the exception of the Amazon heat pad which is cheap but it does take a couple days to get to you. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. I'll show you at the end of this just how large Percy and Dexter are in these setups because they are adults and these setups are not gonna give your adults very much room. Adult Crested Gecko needs an 18 by 18 by 24 tank and an adult Leopard Gecko needs at least a 20 gallon long. These aren't gonna be enough space for those. Let's get on to me setting up those tanks. So everything that you see here actually came from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the larger Sterilite bin. If you ever need a whole bunch of fake plants for your tank, I highly suggest going to the Dollar Tree because they definitely have a variety. I was actually able to find a lot more stuff there than I thought I was going to be able to. This bin was actually Sterling's original bin that I got him in so it already has the holes drilled into the top. If you end up using any kind of bin or plastic container for your animal, I would highly suggest drilling holes into it just so they would help with the airflow, especially because we're going to be using these for leopard geckos and crested geckos, which need airflow. You don't want stagnant wet air, especially just sitting in those tanks. This little bin came from the Dollar Tree, but I ended up not using it because it was just too small. These bins actually came from the food section where they have a very large selection. Again, a lot of them are too small but some of them would make perfect hides especially moist hides. I got this adorable little cactus for decoration and for our cheap substrate we are going to be using paper towels. I would like to say that these are the absolute worst paper towels that I have ever used in my life but it was the biggest roll that the Dollar Tree had so that's what we're using. My absolute favorite find from the Dollar Tree were these little plastic domes. This is just like the glass one that I used to have in my Crested Geckos tank and you can just fill them with moss and they make an amazing wet hide. So let's start with a Leopard Gecko. We're going to start with this Sterilite bin. This is a 12 quart bin. Like I said, it already has holes drilled into the lid, but if I were to use this as a temporary setup, I would actually go around to the clear parts towards the top and go ahead and drill a few more holes just for some air circulation. Now the most expensive part of setting up any enclosure is the heat pad and thermostat. This is a very cheap heat pad that I got a long time ago and I used to use it for Percy. It lasted about a year before it finally started to go out. When I first got it, it would max out at 95 degrees and now it maxes out at about 85, 86. This heat pad, as I am making this review, is only $11 on Amazon and it comes with a built-in dimmer switch to help you control the temperature. I am in no way promoting using a heat pad without a thermostat, but like I said, this comes with a dimmer switch so as long as you are monitoring that temperature daily, it's not going to overheat. It does have very mixed reviews though so do with that what you will but if you don't want to take that risk and go that route you could always get a Zoomed heat pad and a super cheap thermostat. I always use Amazon thermostats because they are the cheapest and they seem to last. I've had mine for a couple years and they're working fine. I just use that super cheap heat pad because I wanted to see exactly how cheap I can make this setup. 
So I stuck this heat pad under there and this is one of those things I forgot to do. There is a gap between the heat pad and the plastic and you're gonna wanna fill that with something because that airspace isn't gonna allow the container to heat up where it needs to be. So I just stuck a piece of napkin in there. Then we're just gonna line the bottom of this with paper towel. Then we're gonna use this little globe as the cold slash moist hot. Since this is a small temporary setup, this is gonna serve as both. I just snapped the top of it off because it didn't fit in this container and then we just take some damp paper towel and put it into the moist hide. So I found these little containers. They came with like four in a pack for a dollar. And I figured that that was kind of perfect because they're pretty flimsy. So we're just gonna cut a little door into it and that'll serve as the warm hide. You might wanna consider safely burning those edges to make sure that they're not sharp. This is gonna leave a very small amount of walk space for your gecko. That's why I feel like this is best for babies and not adults. And these little dishes I found in the wedding section, they're actually hard plastic and not like flimsy plastic so I thought it'd be good for the food and water dish. Leopard geckos are actually a reptile that will lick calcium out of a dish if you provide it for them and if they're low on calcium and what I do for that is I literally just use a cap. I just take a water bottle cap and put calcium in it and that's a free little calcium dish. And then I just got this cute little cactus. This is the only one that the first Dollar Tree that I went to had and then I went to a different Dollar Tree and they had an entire plant plant and cactus setup. So I also got these plants to throw in there again for enrichment because your leopard gecko will climb all over them. And then I just took a bread tie to tie those leaves together and made sure that there were no pointy ends on that bread tie and voila that was the entire setup. Talking setup only here not including vitamin, calcium, or bugs. This whole setup cost less than $30. I of course forgot to take the temperature of the heat pad once I had it all set up. So I quickly just recreated it and took the temperature. Like I said, my heat pad had been slowly going out and now it only gets up to about 85, 86. When I first got it, it got up to 95. And just for a size comparison, this is my full grown adult leopard gecko in this setup. This is not enough room for an adult, but for a baby, it would be fine. Babies are a lot smaller than she is obviously. And if you wanted to do a plastic bin setup for your leopard gecko, they sell bigger bins. So you just spend a little extra money and get a bigger bin. Also, in case you're wondering, that is calcium powder on her head. Why is there calcium powder on her head? I have zero idea, but I did not notice it until just now when I was editing this video. Now for a baby crested gecko, you could literally do it the exact same way that we just did the other one, but by adding more plants. But I just wanted to set up a different one just for the sake of doing it. So I have this taller than it is wide food container and I just put paper towels in the bottom, threw some plants in and used one of those dishes as a water dish. You could also use a bottle cap for the food dish and that's it. Baby crested geckos are tiny and this would actually be enough space for them and they would be able to easily hide in those leaves. Again, just make sure that you drill holes in this if you're going to use it so that they have some good air circulation. Forgot to film me putting Dexter in it, so I quickly recreated it with the plant that he was already on and he hated every last second of it, but that is your size comparison. That's about all for this week, guys. I just want to stress again, please do your research and have your tank set up before you get your animal. But this was just a quick temporary solution for if you just happen to get your animal and you were not prepared at all. Again, just stressing, temporary solution. If for some reason you want to see even more of my animals or me throughout the week, you can head over to Instagram or Twitter and follow me there. Huge thank yous and shout outs to Marla Wright 7 Rock and Lit, and Ames XOX for following me on Instagram, going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. You guys are the bees days. If you like this video, please feel free to like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every single Sunday slash Wednesday. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. But anyways, and 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 that's about all for this week, guys.